Hi, I'm Frank Margani, EVP of Fortress Real Developments, a diversified Canadian real estate company. Did you know how housing projects get financed? Well, it takes more than a bank to finance the construction of a new housing development. That's right. There are many different parties involved in financing housing communities. In fact, a key component of any successful development project in Canada is having the right capital stack. What is a capital stack? Well, it's the combination of different forms of capital to finance a project. They all come from different sources, have different costs and risk profiles, but they all work together to fund one project. When buying land to develop, banks may provide a loan for some of the purchase price. Just like when you buy a home, the bank may provide you a loan for part of the purchase. Then the developer puts in the rest as their equity, like your down payment on a home. When it comes to building a condo or a new subdivision, Banks will finance the construction as long as the project has sufficient equity. This comes in the form of cash from the developer and their partners, any increase in land value, and through the use of deposits from home or condo purchasers. All of these together create a complete capital stack. Banks also want to see that a residential project has a certain amount of pre-sales before funding construction costs. This way, when people move into their new home, the proceeds of those sales will pay off the bank construction loan. It's smart rules and underwriting like this in Canada that helped prevent a banking and housing collapse during the recession of 2008-2009. These safeguards protect the market from speculative projects and is one of the reasons Canada's housing market continues to perform well. It's why our banks have been ranked the safest in the world seven years in a row by the World Economic Forum. So the next time you see a project getting built, this is how it's getting financed. And now, well now you know.